Jim with Revolt CBD. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, the cannabinoids or some of them that are in our full spectrum oils and, and our full spectrum gummies and talk about how they work differently for um, inflammation and pain. Um, you know, we, we know that if we get rid of inflammation from our body, we can get rid of pain. Um, and we also know that a little bit of inflammation is good. It's actually the body trying to heal itself, but when it hangs around too long, it, it causes problems. Um, that's where you can end up getting arthritis in the knees and shoulders. And, um, and then we also know that all the autoimmune diseases are normally caused from inflammation in the body. So getting rid of it is a really good thing. And it, our endocannabinoid system in our body is, is what does that. Um, CBD helps with that and some of the other cannabinoids do. And when we look at regular drugs, prescribed drugs, we also know that every drug is not good for both. Uh, for instance, you, know, you, you can have a surgery and you get prescribed hydrocodone. That's a pain blocker, basically. So it's gonna stop you from feeling pain, but it's not gonna fix the problem. It's just gonna make you go, oh, I don't feel pain anymore. Um, it doesn't help with the inflammation or anything else. So, <clears throat> With that, we'll start with CBD. And now CBD is you know, one of the better anti-inflammatories. Um, it, it's also good for anxiety and, and it's good for pain. It, it, it is analgesic a little bit and can get rid of some pain, but that's on, in my opinion, on a lower level. And you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I've just been studying cannabinoids for the last four years and I've got hundreds moving into the thousands of customers telling me their stories and the success that they've had with CBD. So CBD, we're gonna put over here on, at the top as a anti-inflammatory. And then we have, um, you know, let's talk about the pain side, THC. Um, the cannabinoid THC, Delta 8, Delta 9, it is a pain blocker. Now, it, they do have some anti-inflammatory sides to them. In fact, a study years ago said that, um, uh, I think it was THC was 20 times more of an anti-inflammatory than aspirin or something like that. So there is a lot of you know inflammation control with it also, but it is a pain blocker. So we're gonna put THC at the top of the list for pain control, but the bottom of the list for anti-inflammatory. Then we also have um, another really good um, anti-inflammatory is CBN. And most people don't realize how good CBN is. Um, I, I put it right up there with CBD. Um, most people recognize CBN as a sleep sedative and we use that in our Be Better product um, for sleep, but there's been a lot of tests done with it on rheumatoid arthritis, on RA and things like that. And CBN is up there towards the top on the inflammation side. So you got CBN. Now, another really good product, which we have um, as an isolate product is CBG. Now CBG is an anti-inflammatory, it's an analgesic. Um, so it's really good for pain. Um, and, and it's really good for anxiety disorders also. It has a uh, greater GABA uptake in inhibition, so it, it works really good for anxiety disorders, and it's pretty good for inflammation. But when we're looking at which one we want to use it for, we want to use it more as a pain control. So CBG is more towards pain control. Now, THC is going to work a little better. It's going to attach to the receptor and it's going to block your pain. And CBG is going to be a close second. Um, we have one more I want to talk about, which is CBDA. And it's a great anti-inflammatory. In fact, CBD is created from CBDA. Um, and CBDA also fights depression. It works on the 5-HT receptors in much the same way as um, an SSRI or a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Um, but as far as inflammation and pain, it's up there at the top on the inflammation side. So we're going to put our CBDA and 
And there you have it. So when you're looking at our products, if you're fighting inflammation, these are the products you want to work with the best. And if you're looking at pain, you want to look at these. Now, the best bet is to have all of them together in a full spectrum CBD. And most of us can have that, but if you get tested for THC at your job and you can't have THC, then you need to go with CBD. And CBD won't test hot for THC, but it will work great for inflammation and it will help with the pain. So there's my take on the cannabinoids and um, be sure to like and follow our page and, uh, and share it if it was some good information for you. Thank you.